Hello there folks, it's Kevin here, the clumsier part of Goblins of Creation. Today I'm going to be doing a funnel pour on a black box canvas. I've added a drop of silicon to each of the colours and I'm just stirring them in. Uh, it was a white small box canvas, I have primed it with black paint and I'm going to be using black as the base coat as well. All of the paints are mixed with my standard one third paint, one third water, one third photograph. Uh, obviously I'm dropping a bit of silicon and mixing it in for each of the colours just to promote some cells through the base coat. The colours I'm using today are Hobbycraft Copper acrylic, De La Rowney System Free Rich Gold, the from the same range the Ultramarine, the dark blue there, and the very bright mid blue is the fluorescent blue from the same range. The other mid blue is a Deco Art Extreme Sheen Metallic Sapphire, a lovely colour, uh, which I'm very interested to see how that's going to come out in the finished piece when it's dry. The very light blue, almost white, is uh, some paint I, I found in one of the boxes. It's Anita's Baby Blue, so I'm not entirely sure how that's going to come out. However, I didn't want to put white in, but the white-black contrast sometimes just sort of grates on me. I I'm just a personal uh, preference. The funnel I'm using is quite small, but I wanted the, the size of the, the funnel mouth to be small. So I am uh, putting in a quarter of each of the, the cups into each of the mixes. So there's going to be four, uh, three, three more sort of progressive pours. Now I'm just bouncing the funnel up and down on the canvas to, to try and, well, to encourage gravity uh, to uh, to almost pump the, the paint under the, the base coat. The result should be some very nice cells and a, a nice spread of, of the colour under the, the black. So here we go for the second one. The funnel itself is a set of three. Uh, this one <laughs> is a triangular shape. It doesn't seem to come through uh, with too much triangularness onto the canvas. And as I say, it's it's a good size uh, for this size of canvas. I, I used its its bigger uh, sibling for the large 30 by 40 inch canvas I did in my last video. It's um, interesting. Uh, funnel because it's got a sort of, a, as you can see, a bit sticking out the side with a hole in it which makes it very easy to, to hold and also very easy to hang up when you finish using it to, when it's drying and then clean all the paint out. These plastic cups I do clean the paint out and reuse. Uh, it's not for any other reason other than the fact that I, very, I need a very small amount of paint but I'm not using my silicon reusable ones. Uh, just as it's just paint I will be cleaning these out and reusing them again. Alright, bouncing away, a bit of patience required as with, with all uh, art uh, and craft just you know to get the quality. One of the questions I was asked after one of my, my first videos was have I got any you know, tips for a good funnel pour and I would have to say that the most important thing for a funnel pour is a level surface so get your table your worktop whatever you're working on level and then make sure that whatever you are using to raise the canvas off of the surface so i use thumbtacks but some people use screws some people use hooks uh, are level and make sure with a, a, a you know invest in a, a small spirit level if you haven't already got one just to make sure the canvas is level before you start it does make a huge difference uh, if you do not have a level worktop and you use your screws or your thumbtacks to adjust so that you create a level surface it does mean that if you turn the canvas around for any reason 
it will then be double the slope of your worktop so it's very important to make sure you get that now i've started with a bit of flame and that was to burst a couple of bubbles however uh, as you can see there's a lot of cells popping up which i'm very happy about and now i've got quite a bit of weight of paint so i'm gonna be tipping it some of it up straight up now this is a box canvas so you need the sides to be attractive too so it's worth putting an extra bit of paint on just so that you have the confidence that you can make the sides and the corners clean and clear uh, as well as have enough paint on the canvas to get the composition you want uh, i've seen videos where people haven't put enough on and there's been a part of the the canvas they really like in the middle of the canvas or you know in some they want to stretch or something but they don't have enough paint to do it and of course that's that is a tragedy uh, however it can be very easily uh, avoided by just putting a little bit of extra paint onto the canvas when you start i'm very happy with this uh, the, uh, not not just the the sides uh, and the composition but the colors they've not they're not quite what i imagined I've, i thought the gold and the and the copper would be more like veins running through the blue it's more of a sort of uh, I think it's very marine. Uh, I'm thinking like I don't know, an abstract of, of a, a shipwreck, you know, with rusty metal, the, the copper and, and the brass, and and the dark blue of the deep water, and the and the, the light blue of the bubbles and the, and the spume. You know, it's uh, other people. I don't know. Maybe you'll see a, a map or something. Anyway, in the comments, let me know, and, and let me know if you'd like me to try it as you know. A, specific color mix because i'm uh, i'm as interested and and you guys think of things that i don't think of and so uh, i would like to to explore and try new things i'm very happy to and uh, as i say just pop, pop something in the comment and any questions you've got about anything to do with what i do here or if there's anything you, you want me to try uh, so, <laughs> so you doing it? Uh, I'm more than happy to. Uh, anyway, I'm happy with this. So this is the end of this video. Uh, I'm just gonna try and encourage a couple of small cells. We get those little baby cells inside the bigger cells, and I will finish the video with a couple of close-ups. Uh, please leave a comment. Please like. Please subscribe, and uh, hopefully. Uh, you'll watch one of my videos in future. Thank you very much.